said interview serious, okay? So fast forward 55, as we know, is a course uh, specifically talking about trade and sourcing in the fashion and apparel industry. And I have to say, you know, one question I receive a lot from students is, um, you know, what kind of job opportunities out there in the fashion industry related to sourcing, okay? Or, you know, put it this way, if I want to work in, uh, work on fashion apparel sourcing, you know, what my future job may look like. Um, so to answer this question, uh, I bring you a special guest. Um, that's Laura Merriman. Uh, actually, Laura is our own graduating uh, master student, and she's also a four plus one student for our fashion and apparel studies program. And um, very special, Laura currently is working as a global sourcing intern with QVC. So I'm sure Laura will have many exciting and insightful um, first-hand observation and stories to share with us about the job opportunities in the sourcing area. Um, so welcome, Laura. Um, do you want to say a few words to my students? Yeah, thank you so much for having me. It's a really great um, time to sit down and sure, chat. Sure, um, and welcome back. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah I took this yeah. class, I think it was two years ago. Wow, um, I'm really and surprised. It, yeah, it was really interesting. And it, um, for me, it really opened up a new side of the fashion industry. Because I feel like going into the fashion merchandising major, you're pretty much focused on finding a merchandising or buying job. So taking this class really broadened my horizons into exploring other sides of the industry that I wasn't aware of before. Sure. Thank you. Thank you very much for the great compliments. Okay, so yeah. let's just get straight ahead. So, you know, you, you are currently working as a sourcing intern. Mm -hmm. What are some of the tasks you were asked to do? Or oh, what does a sourcing internship look like? Yeah, so um, a lot of it is just getting visibility to everything that the sourcing um, team does. So I'm on a lot of email chains, just kind of uh, reading back and forth what they're all talking about with costing. It's a lot of determining how much a product would cost to make it, how to mm -hmm. source that product, where to get it from, where, um, you know, what fabric would work better for, you know, biggest profit and, you know, what the factory can do and when. So a lot of it is just kind of, you know, being aware of all of that. Um, I spend a lot of time in Excel. That's the really? huge thing. Oh. Yeah, that's like the more technical side of things. You know, they'll send me tasks to update you know, their daily costing sheets and stuff like that. So that's definitely something that is a huge part of it. But like more so there's just a lot of industry knowledge that you need to be aware of. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Fash 455 really prepares you for that because it definitely helps to be aware of the supply chain and how mm -hmm. Things are made and why things are done a certain way. So, mm -hmm. the industry knowledge coming from Fash 455 really helped with that, or else I would be completely lost. I wouldn't know what's going wow. on. Thank um, you. Thank you. I'm yeah. so happy to hear that. Yeah. yeah, it's definitely a beneficial class, like for sure. <laughs> yeah. And also, you know, from what you just mentioned, it looked like you get involved in helping your companies to identify the sourcing base, like where to source the product. And also, maybe you have to really know a lot of the product knowledge you know, to identify the appropriate or the best vendor for that particular product. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It also comes a lot with, um, there's like a program that we use like source history, which oh. is um, all of the data from every single product that has been made, where it's made, how it's made, what color, um, like what vendor and everything and the mm -hmm. costing behind it. So we use that a lot to um, determine new products. So if we want a similar pair of pants that we did a couple seasons ago, we look at source history. So that's kind of like more of like the data science side. So we don't so much, um, I don't specifically gather that data, but we okay. do look at it the way that it's interpreted to us. So that's also something really important. Sure. So, so really, you know, you're doing a lot of different kind of things, but also, you know, some of the things are, you know, really involve a lot of, you know, you know kind of a skew sense. Can you, mm -hmm. No, no, but no, based on your experiences, what kind of skill sets do you find are most important or relevant to your current job? Well, just, um, you know, to be a great sourcing intern or sourcing manager, what kind of skill sets do you find the most relevant or important? Yeah, so I would say 
the like the number one skill that everyone has told me is um communicating communicating because we like the sourcing team is pretty much the go-between between like the QVC here and also in um like Shanghai we have Italy um Bangladesh India all of those right. countries overseas as well so we really have to be on point with the way we say things how like mm -hmm. what we're asking of them um and you know just like cultural differences and linguistic differences that are really prevalent so mm -hmm. any expressions or idioms or anything like we have to just be very careful straight to the point so communicating is a huge deal i mean especially because right. everything's an email so you right. have to make sure that what you're saying is what you want to say right um from like a more like technical side definitely excel huge thing excel. um yeah we also use like a flex plm system so i think a lot of other brands ah, do that too digital tools to yeah do yeah a lot of the digital tools chain. and software and it's hard because class might not prepare you for that mm -hmm. but it's very similar to excel so like you know that is probably the main thing um but like the biggest thing i think is just like that helped me is just having that industry knowledge going into it mm -hmm. so right. you know reading your blogs that you have that are like relevant like you send us updated things weekly so being up to date with that is also really yeah, helpful great. because you know things change on the drop of a hat and so anything that's going on in the industry could essentially affect us right, too right shenlofashion.com the least yeah local. very helpful uh, thank you thank you so laura i know i did remember you mentioned a lot about data is it like you have to play with a lot of numbers and you also you just did a study about like how fashion students should you know be more exposed to data science uh, like do you mind just quickly share with us your key findings of your study yeah so for the study we found that um the data science education is very imbalanced there's some data science exposure in um you know college curriculums but not nearly enough that we would want to see like in this day and age with everything being um you know data analytics um so it's just very imbalanced but also what needs to happen is there needs to be a change of mindset for the students. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, numbers are very relevant in the industry, even for designers, they use numbers, they look at the data, they look at costing and pricing as well. We're always in meetings with, you know, designers and they're talking numbers just as much as the buyers or the sourcing team. Um, so, you know, it's important that you, recognize the data and are able to you know use it in all walks of the industry and you know play with the market data um and stuff like that it's just important mm -hmm. so it looks like we need to considering you know how to give students more opportunities to work with these data and definitely also, you know playing with specialized software you know like the prm system you mentioned yeah can be a very important aspect of improving students data science related skill sets yeah just i mean just even being aware that there's a ton of data that you're going to mm -hmm. use no matter what your right. position will right. be in the industry right. is a really important topic so you know in classes and stuff just get gaining exposure to numbers just so you're familiar right. with oh right. i will see numbers later on right i totally agree great mm -hmm. um so laura um Another question, you know, I have, and also I'm sure students will be very interested in is, you know, what does the interview process look like? Like when you're applying for this current internship, what kind of questions you were asked about? And also, do you have any tips for students who are also looking for an internship? Um, yeah, I mean, I think it's really important to, you know, constantly update your resume and just have, you know, really um relevant topics on your resume that's relevant to the job that you're applying to um for the sourcing um interviews that i've been on they always ask why sourcing why i think so because yeah because they see like fashion merchandising and you know you kind of get boxed into this merchandising kind of like almost more creative side of the industry and they always want to know like do you are you aware of sourcing you know what you want to do with sourcing um so i think it's really important that you 
know going into it why you want to do sourcing and why you're interested in it. Um, some and, background knowledge about this field. No definitely. Kidding. And all of my background knowledge actually came from your class. So when they asked why sourcing, I literally said, I took a class 455 and it was really helpful. And, you know, it just is fun because I like sourcing because you're you're in the middle of the industry right, like right you know you're in between design merchandising and all of it so you know that was one reason why I thought it was really interesting so why sourcing I want to be in the middle of it and this is yeah. right where it is so sure yeah so will you consider sourcing as your future like after graduate um we will consider sourcing as like a like a long-term kind of you know opportunity definitely yeah i'm applying to i mean i'm applying to all sorts of jobs so definitely open to every anything and everything but um i've definitely put more um focus and care into finding sourcing positions because i i like it i like the experience yeah. that i have and i'm having so Me it's too. really cool. um, yeah i can tell i really love you know this topic yeah yeah Sure, sure. Thank you so much for sharing with us so many, you know, useful information and insights. Yeah, no problem. Do you, um, do you have any last kind of, you know, comments or you know, tips or suggestions to now students? Um, no, I think that just being open to all sides of the industry is mm -hmm. really important. Don't limit yourself to, you know, just because you're a merchandising um, or design student, you can be anywhere in the industry and be just as, you know, valuable of a person. And, um, you know, I think it's just really interesting to see where you end up. Right. Sure. So sure. thank you once again, Laura. And yeah, thank you. Good luck for job hunting and hope to stay in touch. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Bye. Talk to Bye. you. Bye. Talk to Bye. you soon.